Hey guys, this is Coach Shannon from Fitness for Feminists. Today we're going to talk about and demonstrate uh, picking a habit, the one habit method. So informal step number one, get super comfortable. I think it's really important that you treat this pretty casually. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You know, get on your bathrobe, get on some slippers, get your favorite dog, and uh, just make yourself comfy. Formal step one, write down your goals. Set a timer for five minutes, okay? And then you're just gonna write down anything you can think of that you wanna improve in your life. Um, so it could be getting stronger, it could be um, running further, it could be eating healthier, anything you can think of, you're just gonna write that goal down. Uh, it doesn't have, it can't be too big or too small. So just set the timer and start writing anything that comes into your head. I've wrote down a bunch of things that I think would make my life better. And now step two is going to be to read through those things and decide which is the one thing that I want to work on right now. Oh boy. It's hard. It's hard to avoid working on everything all at once, right? And that is part of the discipline, but it's part of trying to really focus on one habit at a time so that you're not stressing yourself out, you're not trying to make too many changes, and then just falling back into old easy habits. So I think right now what I want to work on is stress management. So now I get to move right on to step three, which is to break down your goal, your main goal, into smaller process goals, also known as habits. So I'm gonna use the same piece of paper, but I'm just gonna turn the page, and then I'm going to write stress management, better stress management at the top. So stress management is what I would call a product goal. Less stress would be a product goal. A product goal is something that you get at the end. It's like, I got $5, that's a product. Um, I deadlifted 250 pounds, that's a product. Going to the gym five days a week is a process, right? Getting a job and getting money is a process. Um, so stress management is a product goal. And what I wanna break that down to into is process goals. Thing, things that I can control to better manage my stress. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer again for five minutes. And I might not use all five minutes, but I do want to sit with this for a bit. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to only write down five things and then move on. So here I go, setting my timer for five minutes to break down my main goal into smaller process goals. I have done step one, which is writing down any goal I can think of. Step two, which is choosing one of those goals, the one that's most important to me right now that I wanna start working on. Step three was breaking that goal down into smaller process goals. And so now I'm going to work on step four, which is finding of those goals, of those smaller goals, which is the furthest reaching goal, meaning if I made this change now, which would have the biggest ripple effect, the most consequences across the board, and which is the easiest goal. So which of these things could I do right now? It wouldn't take that much work. Um, I, it doesn't seem daunting to me. So as I'm looking through my list, I realize that some of these goals are still a little bit big, so get more sleep, I broke down into go to bed earlier or take more naps. Some goals like take time for self, that's probably a little too vague. Whereas read for fun, that is pretty specific and kind of sounds awesome. I miss reading for fun. Some of these goals I don't even want to do. I just wrote them down because I feel like they would help me be less stressed, which is my eventual product. Um, so those I'm just going to completely ignore. Uh, some of them I just don't think are realistic, so I'm going to ignore those as well. 
Um, so I think that the easiest thing that I could do would be to read for fun. So that's nice because it would be um, taking time for myself, doing something that I enjoy, and just thinking about it makes me feel happy. Uh, something that I think might have the furthest reaching effect would be to meditate. So setting up a meditation practice and sticking with it. I have tried to do it before. I find it very beneficial. I find it really hard to stick to. Um, whereas reading for fun seems like it's going to be fun. So it's not something that I have to talk myself into. Meditating is hard. It's hard when you start. It's hard to sit quietly and listen to yourself breathe. I'm moving on to the back half of step four, which is choose between those two goals. So if I want to choose to meditate right now, if I want to set up a meditation practice, because that's my furthest reaching goal, probably I'm feeling pretty motivated. If I want to just start reading for fun, probably I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with life and I just want to pick the easiest thing because I want to be successful at something. I think this will make a difference. I think it will make me feel a little bit better, have a little more work-life balance. Um, and so I'm going to choose the easier thing. You don't always have to go for the Grand Slam. You can go for first base. I am going to choose reading for fun. So now we're going to move on to step five, which is to figure out how you're going to measure your goal. And I need to both figure out how I'm going to measure my stress level and also how I'm going to measure whether I'm successful at reading for fun. And don't worry, it won't make reading less fun uh, just because I'm measuring it. It's just a way for me to make sure that I'm staying on track with my goals and that my habits are actually helping me reach my ultimate goal of having um, less stress. What I would recommend for something like measuring your stress level is just using a one to 10 scale. So maybe at the end of the day, you are just writing down from a one, meaning totally not stressed at all, to a 10, you thought your head was gonna explode throughout the day. Um, just characterizing the day, simple one to 10 scale. You want to be able to track that to see whether or not your general stress level is going down. Um, and then because I haven't been reading for fun at all really in a while, maybe I'll start with 10 minutes a day. And so I'm just gonna set aside time. I'm gonna put it on my to-do list as something that I wanna get done. I'll set aside 10 minutes where I just get to sit around and read a book and then maybe I'll try to increase my time as I get more used to sitting down and reading in the first place. I'll just have a checklist right down right next to where I'm tracking my stress level. Did I do my reading for the day? Yes or no? And then you know give it a few weeks once it becomes a habit see if it's helping your stress level and then you can do the process again. You can look at this list again and say, all right, I've been reading for fun. Now it's time that I am going to make better use of my to-do lists. Sure. Uh, and then work on that one habit for a few weeks. Ultimately, the goal is to uh, be less stressed, but what you're gonna do is work on one thing at a time in order to get there. So wish me luck on my reading habits and I will see you on the internet.